Good morning, Madam. We are from Group 5. Our project title is Computer System Proposal for Organizations. The group members are Leonel Siga Anajem, Lili Boon Kai Ling, Muhammad Kairi Isaac Kana, and me, Li Wei Hong. Now, I'm going to present Task 1 Proposal. The computer system used in Sarawak General Hospital require a high-performance workstation for image processing and pandemic prediction and control in Sarawak state. The proposed system will enable the medical personnel to deal with any pandemic case in the state. Besides, the system also enable to facilitate information on the status life with WHO on the control measure to contain the widespread of any disease or virus. We have two objectives in this proposal. First one is explaining various computer system usage and its purpose. Second one is about determining the most suitable type of computer system based on the needs of Pandemic Control Center for Sarawak General Hospital. Now, I'm going to present what are the actions we plan for computer system use in Sarawak General Hospital. First, we use the console 110Q Mid Tower Quad ATS as computer case because it is noise reducing and large storage support. Plus, it consists of strong cooling potential which keep the PC cool for long time work. For the operating system, we suggest the Windows 10 64-bit and MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi model for motherboard which support to it. This motherboard also has the premium thermal solution which are built for high performance system and non-stop works which help in any pandemic control system. Next, for GPU and CPU, we are using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 GPU which is high performance of image processing and low power consumption, and Intel Core i9-10900K CPU which can process information faster. This GPU and CPU will significantly improve the efficiency of co computer system in Sarawak General Hospital. That's all for me and I will pass the presentation to my other group mate, Lily. Thank you, Wei Hong. Good morning, Madam. I am Lily. I will continue the presentation of the spec recommended in this computer system. For the storage device, we suggest DDR4-2933 32GB RAM and KC2500 NVMe PCIe 2TB SSD because they both can process data information in a high speed and can sustain for longer battery life in a whole day work of hospital. Seagate Pro 3.5 inch 10 terabyte hard drive is also included in the list because HDD has larger storage than SSD, although it is slower than SSD. For power supply unit, we are using the Corsair AX series model AX850 because it provides up to 850 watts, which is enough for wattage use in hospital, and having a spare capacity for its actual supplies without a problem. And most importantly, it is near silent operation at medium loads. Monitor using in this proposal is the 27 inch BenQ model PD2700U with 4K images. This is for better screen experience of medical personnel because it allows them to enjoy the benefits of multiple monitors using a single display. A much higher pixel count translates into more being displayed onto the screen, which can give you more than 5,200 spreadsheet cells in Microsoft Excel and the ability to display four A4 sheets side by side in Microsoft Word. For input and output devices, we are using a key noise reduced keyboard, which is Razer Black Widow Lite TKL 10 Keyless Mechanical Keyboard. A side key noise reduced. Another reason for suggesting this keyboard is because mechanical keyboard is last longer than membrane keyboard. Next, a cheaper Logitech M100R wired USB mouse, which has all fundamental function and edifier R12 U speaker, which available for headphone is also suggested with budget financial consideration. Last but not least, my Sujatra is also included in this proposal because it helps to track movements of individuals, alert people from visiting COVID-19 hotspots, monitor the condition of infected patients and help develop medical treatments and vaccination. 
In conclusion, the total budget of Task 1 project will be 22,266 and 49 cents, which also can be routed to 22,266 and 50 cents. That's all for the Task 1 proposal. Now I'll hand over the presentation to my other two group mates. Good morning, Madam. My name is Muhammad Kari Ayazad Ghana. Now I'm going to present Task 2 proposal. The computer system used in Sarawak Information, also known as Science, required a high performance web server serving YouTube application for thousands of users. The proper system should be able to serve the user 24 hours a day and 365 a year continuously without fail. There are two objectives in this proposal. First one is about explain the various computer system usage and its purpose. Second one is about to determine the most suitable types of computer based on need in science. Now I'm going to present what are the action we plan for the computer system used in science. Firstly, we choose Intel Xeon E5 2683B4 2.1 GHz 16 core processor as our processor. It has 16 core and 32 threads. The more the CPU core, the server content, the more high performance the virtual server load will be managed. Next, we choose MSI X99A Workstation ATX as our motherboard because it is compatible with our processor. It supports ECC memory. It has three PCIe slot with optimized operating arrangement operating all slot. Thus, it allows faster transmission of data in memory of the GPU and lower latency on PCIe bus. Next, we recommend Noctua NHC14S 82.54 CFM CPU cooler as a cooling system. The cooler offers the best airflow based on heat exchange, plus it fits on our motherboard easily. This cooler also provides a dual fan mode which works perfectly with our processor at clock speed while producing lower noise and keep removing heat consistently for 24 hours. Hi, I am Lionel and I will continue the rest of task 2. As for RAM, we use Crucial Basilistic 32GB or 2x16GB and adapt it to 64GB or 4x16GB for dual channel configurations. Multiple channel module will increase the communication between the RAM and memory controller and increase the overall system performance. Hence, we we'll serve thousands of users while browsing YouTube with instant buffering. Next, we use Western Digital 1TB internal hard disk of 7500 RPM that provides 33% faster data delivery than 5400 RPM. We adapt the internal hard disk to write 10 system. Write 10 is top notch on data securing and fast data read and return. This experience we surely adore by users without any doubt. We use Thermotech Level 20 ATX Full Tower Cast as it compatible with all the components and provide cooling system. For power supply unit, we use Corset RM650 W80++ core for its proven and efficient power supply unit. Produce less heat and having 650 power which is not overkill or under power for this hardware. Not to forget by using CyberPower CP1000 PFCLCD uninterrupted power supply or UPS will ensure the server not shut down unexpectedly during power supply interruptions. This will occupy web server's ability criteria. As for conclusion, task 2 will cost RM19,467.12 with a high performance hardware and suitable for the web server environment. That is all for us. Thank you for listening.